And we'll give you another example of point-slope form, but this time the slope is a fraction, that is two-thirds, and our ordered pair is uh, both negative values for the x and y. So let's do our substitution. We put y minus, now again our, x, our y term is a negative 4, so I put that in parentheses. And our slope is 2 thirds x minus, now since our x term is also a negative, I'm going to put that in a parenthesis here as well. So theoretically, I should use a bracket there, but that's okay. Now, what's going on? What's our next step? Well, I would make these two negatives, make that a positive. And again, these two negatives, make that a positive. So just to clarify, we now have y plus 4 equals two-thirds x plus two. But we have this fraction. And you may recall that we had said, anytime you have a fraction in an equation, the best way to treat it is to multiply every term by that common denominator. So I'm going to multiply every term by three. And notice now the threes cancel out here, and I don't have fractions anymore. So this becomes 3y plus 12, and this is just 2x plus 4. So now I want to isolate my y on this side, so I get 3y going to transpose this 12 to this side. Here it becomes a negative 12. So this is going to be 2x minus 8. So transposing this 12, or subtracting 12, subtracting 12, I get a negative 8. And now I just divide everything by 3. And my equation then in slope-intercept is y, these cancel out, 2 thirds x minus 8 thirds. Now if they wanted this in standard form, I could have taken it from this stage here before I divide by 3. And let me just write that one again here. So it's 3y equals 2x minus 8. And to put that in standard form, I'm just taking my 2x from this side, transposing it. It becomes a negative 2x on that side, plus 3y equals negative 8. Just taking my 2x, transposing it, and if you want to have your first term positive, just multiply each term by a negative, and that changes the sign. So I get 2x minus 3y equals 8. So in review, we have point-slope form. We have the slope. We have one point. We substitute it, being careful of the signs. Uh, changing the signs is needed, then getting rid of fractions by multiplying each term by the lowest common denominator, and then getting this. And then from this, it's easy to put it in slope-intercept, or from this stage to put it in standard form.